Hi everybody, this is John Carlo from the Story King Podcast. Today's another edition of Tuesday Tips, and I'm gonna be talking about this book again, Writing Tools by Roy Peter Clark, and the one I'm talking about today is called Cut Big, Then Small. He's talking about the editing process here. He goes, prune the big limbs, then shake out the dead leaves, and he quotes that very famous saying, murder your darlings, which most writers are familiar with, um, and basically it goes, when writers fall in love with their words, it is a good feeling that can lead to a bad effect. So if you recall when I was talking about writer's block, I said a lot of times writers get stuck because they're tinkering away at something that should just be eliminated. So that's kind of what we're talking about here. So you want to cut out the big uh, paragraphs that just don't support uh, your overall story before you, you go small at the sentence level. So. Over here he says, cut any passage that does not support your focus, cut the weakest quotations, anecdotes, and scenes to give greater power to the strongest, cut any passage you have written to satisfy a top teacher or editor rather than the common reader, don't invite others to cut, you know the work better, mark optional trims, then decide whether they should become actual cuts. So just remember that when you're editing, before you go through a detailed editing process, um, word by word, you should be looking for entire paragraphs, even pages that just need to be scrapped because they're not doing anything to enhance the story. Uh, they're giving erroneous information, extraneous information or whatever. Cut those things out first. Then once your story is nice and tight, then you can go to uh, the sentence level. So just remember that when you're editing, cut big first, then small.